get into a new school year, it is the perfect time to talk about kids' self-love and what that means. Author, anti-bullying activist, Brandon Farbstein is joining us this morning. Brandon, good morning, and thank you for coming by. Good morning, Charlie. Thanks so much. everything about this book. Everything about this book. A kid's book about self-love. Tell me about it. This book really equips young people with the tools that it takes to see the awesomeness that exists within us all and really recognizing that our uniqueness is a superpower and what that means is learning to make the voice inside your head the loudest amongst anything or anyone so that you become your own biggest advocate no matter what. You talk a lot about love and self-love, uh, Brandon. I share um, you know, a story like yours where bullying was the norm and it still is for a lot of people yes and it's not easy sometimes for kids to show that um, self-love so what are you hoping that kids learn and people learn from this book and why is it so hard to love i really learned this from having absolutely no self-love as a kid so i was born with a very rare form of dwarfism and was pretty severely bullied for being different and i hated being me. I absolutely resented the person that I saw in the mirror. And this book really is the antidote of that to be able to recognize that no matter who you are, you are worthy of love, you are worthy of being someone that fulfills whatever dreams and goals that they have. And you don't need to be somebody that feels different or feels like you are even like everyone else. It's just about embracing what makes you, you. And that's the biggest gift that there is. How did you do that? How did you turn that? Because there are many teens, kids who could be watching right now and in their own form, they, they hate who they are. Yeah. How do you turn that into something positive? To be honest, it took me being in some of my darkest moments where I quite frankly didn't want to be alive anymore to recognize number one that I needed help I couldn't do it alone and therapy and mental health counseling were so vital for me but also recognizing that we can't control what other people do we can't control what's going on around us but we could always choose our thoughts and that's really one of the biggest lessons that I think I learned early on that I've been carrying with me and now to equip young people, especially in this time where mental health and stress and all of these things that have been piling on us are really taking a toll. Self-love is the answer that we all need. Self-love. It says, but what does it mean to love myself like I love my friend? This entire book gets you thinking. Exactly. I wanted to disappear. Yeah. So it really ties into a lot of my own personal story, but also sharing that we're so much more alike than we are different. And if we talk about the things that make us who we are, that is so incredibly powerful. And I'm really hoping that I empower kids and young people, but also just everyone to do just that. When you talk to students, what, what do you tell them? If they came to you and they said, you know, I'm, I'm being bullied or I, I don't feel like I matter, what do you tell them? It's always up to us, the lens that we see the world through. Mm. And sometimes it gets tinted when we're in a moment of overwhelm through bullying or whatever other trauma we're experiencing. But that's really the importance of surrounding yourself with, I call it your A-team, those that have your back 110% of the time. And those that you know will support you and carry you through no matter what. Because quite frankly, we can't do life alone. No, we can't do life alone. Your biggest advice for self-love, when you look in the mirror and you look at yourself and you write here, what do you see when you look at yourself in the mirror? What do you say? I'm proud of this person and I know I'm here for a reason. And no matter what the day is going to bring me, I know that I'm going to take it in whatever way that I want to because I'm in the driver's seat. And hopefully we all can embrace that same mindset. I love it. A kid's book about self-love. I think a lot of kids and families could use uh, this right about now. Uh, Brandon, so we appreciate your time. Thank you.